If you want to learn how to crop a photo into any shape, number, or text using Silhouette Studio, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Cherie here with Pretty Party and Crafty, and today I'm showing you a quick and easy tutorial on how to crop using Silhouette Studio. So the first thing we want to do is bring in the photo or graphic or background that we want to crop. So you'll just go to File, Merge. Once you select File, Merge, you'll go to the folder that has the photo or the background that you want to crop. So mine will be under Mermaids. I have some backgrounds here. And I'll just click on it and hit OK. Now these graphics, the mermaid background, this is from Moochka Clip Art. I'll link her in my description. She offers commercial use graphics um, for party favors, party printables. Um, if you design sublimation designs, her images are absolutely beautiful. They are very inexpensive um, and very diverse. So she offers different skin tones, different hairstyles. We absolutely love her over here. <laughs> okay, so once we have the image that we want to crop, what we want to do is choose the shape. So it can either be a shape or it could be text and numbers. So for this first one, we're just going to choose a shape. So I'm going to come over here to my left side panel. I'm going to select drawing tools for my shapes and I'm going to have the um, oval selected or the ellipses. All right, so I want it to be a perfect circle. So when I do this, I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm going to click and drag it. Okay, when you do this, you want to make sure that the photo or the background, you want that to be on the bottom layer. You want the shape to be on top. You want the photo or the graphic to be at the bottom. And then you can just enlarge or resize this as much as you need to and position it kind of where you want it to go. So I want it a little, I want it like that. I want to make sure that I get that little cute jellyfish. Okay, that looks good to me. All right, so once you have it positioned how you want it, make sure that you select both of them. I'm just clicking and dragging them over until both of them are selected. And then you're going to come to your right side panel. So your right side panel, it's about the, what is that, the 11th? The 11th icon down, this is going to be your modify panel, and you want to click that. That's with the two shapes. You have the rectangle and the circle kind of intersecting, and this is going to give you your modification tools. So you can weld, subtract all, divide, subtract, intersect, and crop. This is what we want to use. We want to crop. Once you click it, you have your cropped image. So it can be a background, it can be a photo. Once you do it, once you press it, it is now cropped. Now, you cannot technically keep on working and undo. You have to hit undo as soon as you do it, or if you do about five or 10 steps ahead, you have to hit undo until you get to that 10th step back to undo this. So just keep that in mind. So if you were to save this now and then go back to it later, you would not be able to undo this crop. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, also, let's say that we wanted to do a letter or a number. We can do that as well. So first we want to bring in our image. So file. And then we'll go to merge. And then you're going to select your image. All right, so found this one. Okay, I'm going to reduce that width so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. 
All right, so let's say that we wanted to have this image inside of a number. So what we would do is select our text tool, and I'm going to change my font to um, a freshman, and I'm going to select two. Okay. I'm going to click and drag it over because again, you want the shape or the text or the number on top. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag. And I want to make sure that that too is kind of over her how I want it. I'm going to actually make her a little bit bigger. All right, and then once we have it how we want it, we'll select both and we'll come back to the modify tool panel. And again, it's the 11th icon down with the rectangle and the circle intersecting. And then you'll come to the modify panel and select crop. And now you have your two. Okay, so that's it. That was a quick and easy tutorial on how to crop in Silhouette Studio. Again, just make sure your photo or your background is on the bottom layer, and then you would have your shape or your text or your number on the top layer. Select both, then go to your Modify panel and click Crop. Hopefully this was helpful. If you watched this long, make sure you like and follow for more. Later, y'all.